in this video we will see uh, how to enable uh, account duplication check uh, in oracle fusion cloud so first we'll test uh, with an account uh, we'll try to create the same account so now uh, it doesn't populate any uh, message so then we'll enable the duplication duplication process check and then uh, we'll we'll see the difference so now uh, i have given the same name it allowed uh, to create so now we have two different records with the same name right so now we'll go to uh, we'll, we'll change the setup to enable uh, account duplication basically the setup is same for account and contact and even for address so we'll need to go to setup and maintenance. And uh, step one is uh, we need to go to offerings, setup, and select sales. And if you go down, so there is a, a group called data quality verification services. We need to select that. And then, um, so in in the task list, we can see manage server configurations. So step one, uh, task one is this one. So we need to make sure uh, this task is enabled. EDQ real time and batch basic match server. So we need to enable this to uh, to complete the duplicate check. Save and close. Uh, so next task is manage enterprise data quality matching configurations. So here for each object, uh, so the match objects we have is organization, person, and then location. So at any time, uh, so we should have only uh, one, uh, one, one configuration active for one object so by default uh, the account so these three will be uh, uh, available so uh, so currently there is a uh, one more so it is active so we can modify this uh, this search behavior so uh, currently this is inactive so i'm going to one uh, organization uh, configuration for account object. Okay, so now I can see the match attribute list. So basically, this uh, this configuration will match account name and then all the fields uh, mapped here: address, state, okay, uh, account account fields. Uh, URL, alternate phone. So basically, it, it tries to match uh, with these attributes, and then, uh, and then it uh, it, it sets the it gives the score uh, based on these matching attributes, and uh, so once it uh, reached the uh, limit, so then uh, once it reach it the score threshold right so then it will display a message uh, that uh, that this particular uh, uh, account is a duplicate or not so uh, depending on the uh, right so we need to generate keys uh, and then we need to rebuild the keys so there is a document uh, uh, for this so so we need to uh, if, if it is a first time right so we need to rebuild the keys and then um, we if needed so we need to run the process gen we need to run the generate keys process so basically uh, rebuild keys and generate keys are the uh, scheduled processes so when you generate keys uh, this is scheduled process submission generate data quality keys this is the process name so you can submit this uh, 
and the details you can see uh, the uh, here. So once the process is completed, it will it will show here the how many records it processed and what is the uh, status. Okay. So so once this step is done. Um, then click done and we need to look into one more task that is manage customer data management options. So here uh, we need to go to duplicate identification options and here uh, the enable real-time key generation. So this we need to set it to yes and then save and close. So now uh, go to accounts and verify the changes. Uh, so now we'll try to cop we'll, we'll copy the same, same name. We'll create. Uh, let's run one more time the process. We need to select sales, right? Select sales. Data qualification, quality verification services, and then go to uh, this task, manage enterprise data quality matching configurations, go to account. So this is the active rule we have. Uh, we'll generate one more time. We'll wait a few minutes. So now go back to the screen and then um, just try to select any one of the uh, account. I'm, I'm using this Fortina, Corp Fortina Co Corporation. Uh, okay, so I'm giving, I'm just hitting save and continue. So now it displays uh, this possible duplicates page. So where it it, uh, it it tried to match with the uh, name here. So, and it asked it uh, to continue with create or uh, select the same one. Okay, if you select the same, it will open the account. Otherwise, uh, it, will, it will go with the create option. So now, uh, instead of... Uh, Instead of complete name, we'll, we'll take a short name that's uh, 14 or something test. Fontina test. So 
So now what? So now we'll again save and continue. So yeah, it's it's it is still uh, able to find because uh, there is a there is some text which is matching with the existing account. So now we'll continue with create. So now uh, we can go with the new account. So this is how we will enable uh, the account uh, duplication process. Uh, and this is a real time. So for this, uh, so CDM license is not required with the sales cloud uh, license itself. Uh, so this validation we can do. So any advanced setups uh, related to data quality. Uh, so right, so then duplication process, then we might need a CDM license, but uh, the simple uh, uh, validations, uh, like simple duplication process doesn't need a CDM license. So that's all.